What is the difference between ChatGPT and ChatGPT Premium account? So let's find this out. Everybody has talked about ChatGPT by this time. Olga is a slow poke here, but I couldn't resist since my husband bought a premium account of ChatGPT for $20 per month. I mean, it's crazy, but okay. And I want to compare his account and mine. So my three, we all know that ChatGPT works better with English and works with other languages. So let's try it out. I firstly tried to understand whether or not it is worth it by checking the features of ChatGPT. And here's what it says. As you can see, a free plan implies that available when demand is low, standard response speed, regular model update. For our $20 per month, we receive available even when demand is high, fast response speed, priority access to new features. So let's find out whether or not it actually is worth it. Okay, so let's start with the uh, first question. And I want to check ChatGPT in both English, Russian and Ukrainian and see how, how well it responds actually. So, hey ChatGPT, how do I make one million dollars okay and i asked the same question via my pet account and as you can see the speed of response is i mean almost the same for both accounts slightly faster for uh for the premium account the speed is not strikingly different okay thank you and how do i learn spanish fast and i asked the same question here Let's go! Okay. Learning Spanish. Okay, one. Immerse yourself. Use language learning resources. Take online. Okay, yeah, slightly faster. But then, as you can see, the free account provided me with more answers than the pad one. So immerse yourself in the language. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Use language learning apps, language learning resources, blah, blah, blah. Take online classes or find a tutor. Practice speaking or listening. Practice leg uh, regularly. <laughs> Learn Spanish and vocabulary. Focus on high frequency words and phrases. Set achievable goals. Use Spanish in real life situations. So as you can see, actually, ChatGPT provided me with more advice via my free account than via my pet account. So this one is pet. The next question is, I had a fight with my spouse. What should I do? Let's go. So the first and the second. So who is faster? Pet version was faster. So I can note that, we can note that, that it's faster. It really is faster. However, in terms of advice, almost the same. Take a break, listen to each other, communicate effectively, apologize, look for a compromise. I would still prefer the advice from the first free option because it's actually more detailed. So what the, what the, I mean, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so let's try it out in Russian. Okay, I'm asking it if it speaks Russian. And again, as you can see, even by the length of the response, Free, free version of ChatGPT provides more detailed response. It doesn't make sense. Okay, I'm asking who Tchaikovsky is, and you probably know yourself who Tchaikovsky is. Tchaikovsky is a Russian composer. It's comparable, and free version provided me with more information than a bad one. What? Why? What the? Maybe it's more like. I don't know. Okay, what about Ukrainian? Ukrainian is uh, a language that fewer people speak than Russian. This way we will understand whether ChatGPT works with languages that are not as popular. Okay, I asked it, what about Ukrainian? I didn't specify it to translate me the entire text from my previous question into Ukrainian, but it did, so it didn't really understand my request, it was undefined. I just asked, what about Ukrainian? And meaning, I actually implied to ask whether you speak Ukrainian. Uh, the quality of the translation is great. So let's start with this question. And for those of you who do not know, that is a dish. Again, as you can see, the free version provides a lot of information, whilst the, the pad version is concise, precise, and close to the point. What is happening?
by the time of this recording, I have not used ChatGPT4 because it wasn't released, but now we have ChatGPT available and they say it's our most advanced model available to plus subscribers. And I am a plus subscriber. I mean, I see it from my husband's account and they say that ChatGPT4 excels at tasks that require advanced reasoning complex instruction understanding and more creativity and they are like completely honest that reasoning is their top one priority but at the same time the speed is quite low and we can see that if we compare their chat gpt4 and say their default gpt 3.5 model so gpt3 is way faster than gpt Four. And I have tried that when I've been translating my novel. And another thing I've noticed is that GPT-4 currently has a cap of 25 messages per every three hours. And they say that we should expect significantly lower caps as they adjust for demand. And this is true. And I have not even translated one chapter of my novel when it said Sorry, that's the limit of what you can use ChatGPT4 model for today. So this, I mean, this is extremely frustrating. They claim that they will improve it and I'm sure they will. So we are looking for more improvements and more changes to ChatGPT either 4 or 5. We'll see. Now, the summary of it all, in my opinion, is that the difference between a free and a paid package of ChatGPT is almost non-feasible. So, speaking frankly, I don't find it worth to switch to a paid version for $20 per month. But if you want to support open AI projects, which are totally worth it, and then this is the only reasonable reason to do so, and so go and buy this premium account. In at OpenAI, they do pretty amazing stuff, so I'd gladly support them. By the way, have you tried ChatGPT, and for which purpose, and has it worked well for you? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to learn more about other AI tools, subscribe to this channel, because this is what we have coming in our next episodes. And in the meanwhile, you may want to check out this video next. See you there.